a new deal. Uh, obviously, good timing to get it underway. Tell us just about signing up for Freo. Yeah, it's um, signed for another three years. I'm really excited. Um, they gave me the opportunity when I first got drafted. I got drafted at 66, so I didn't think I was gonna actually going to get drafted if it wasn't for Freo. So I owe it to them and, um, yes, yeah, spoke really close to my family and on what decision I should make. And, yeah, it was pretty easy to decide to stay at Freo. Did you have any other offers? Um, yeah, a few. Obviously, you hear a few things and all that sort of stuff, but I was, my heart was always at Freo. So, yeah, I'm lucky to stay here. How hard was it being a Victorian boy to make that decision and your family's still over there eh? and that sort of thing? Yeah, family's over in Melbourne still and the um, decision was pretty easy. I spoke to my mum a fair bit who loves coming over here and she said I went to Freeman and I already knew that and um, yeah, she was really excited. I told her yesterday that I actually signed and she's in Malaysia at the moment so she was really happy and really proud and yeah, that's all, all I want to do is make my mum proud. And it's three years, isn't it? So you more or less want to stay almost you want to be a one player, one club player, that sort of thing? Yeah, that's the aim and become the um, part of the team to win the first premiership for Fremont, so that's my goal. How much of the, the new era and the changes happening this player part in putting Fem to such a long deal? Yeah, it's, um, it is a pretty long deal, but I'm excited. Our group is really young. Um, the older guys just got back yesterday and it wasn't that many of them, it was all, all the young guys that are actually there. So it's really exciting times and yeah, looking forward to it. What is the feeling amongst the group and, and amongst the younger guys at the moment? Yeah, we're all up and about, excited, um, new game plan, new program. So yeah, we're really excited and can't wait for round one to come. Can you just take us through the process of a new coach comes in and for you individually, have you sat down one-on-one -on -one with him just to talk about your role and, and what the future holds? Yeah, it's um, I spoke to Jalo a fair bit and um, our role is going to change. I'll be playing either high or low and um, yeah, really excited to see what we'll, see what I can do down there and help out the back line. And, um, I think it's going to be a really strong group down there and I um, look forward to it. He had a bit of success with the defence of Collingwood, so does he bring a, a similar structure to that, do you think? Um, I don't know much about Collingwood structure, but I think we're going to have our own structure, so I'm looking forward to it and it's going to be exciting times. Do you say you're going to have a different role in defence or the um, same sort of role? Not too sure yet. I'm just so far just easing away into training and um, I'm sure when the games come around, my role will change and see what I have to do and improve. And yeah, so it's a bit of a change around. When Alex comes back in, is that what you're talking about? It might change things a bit if he um, Yes, Alex, whoever else comes to fill in, the new game plan. Oh, yeah, I'm not too sure exactly on my role yet, but I'm sure it's going to be down back, so that's where I'm comfortable. How strong in the back line? Obviously, Alex missed most of the season. You had the hamstring injury late, but with yourself and Alex and Joel, Man, do you think that that um, yeah, well, I'm pretty sure we've seen the numbers last year and we're number two rated, so um, sky's our limit. And I think if we're really fit and available, I think, yeah, our, we can be the number one defence in the comp. Personally, how are you feeling after, after that hamstring injury lately? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, 100% now. It's ages ago, so it was only a couple of weeks, and yeah, I'm fine and trained every session so far, so yeah, feeling good. Are you an underrated defence, do you reckon? I saw Goddard said the other day. You have your second worst defence in the AFL, and you look at the figures in your hand to get to that. And you think you're underrated a bit? Oh, I'm not too worried about outside noise. We know where we can be, and um, if we're fit and available, I think we're the best defence in the comp. So, that's, yeah, don't really worry about outside noise. And Griff fits in, do you think? You, you can, there's the three of you plus him now. Do you think he can go in there as well? Oh, it's not up to me. It's a hard decision for JLO. So, um, yeah, we've got, if everyone's fit and available, it's going to be hard. No one's safe. Um, so that's a good thing about our club at the moment. You're going to be missing your two wingers who were very good players for you over the years. How does that change you as a team? Do you think that speed on the outside? Oh, well, we bring in James Aish and Blake Akers, so they're really good, get really quick and really good ball use and got experience, so it's going to help our club a lot. And just one on yourself, did you think you could get to where you are now as, I think, the second best in the set mark in the competition? You know, obviously having a great couple of years at Fremantle. And when you first came in, did you have thought you were, were going to get there or what do you think about it? Oh, yeah, I wasn't really too sure because when I was younger, I always got told I wasn't good enough, I wasn't going to make it. That's why I got drafted when I was 20 years of age. But um, yeah, well, if you put in the hard work and um, you learn off the older guys, you can you can do anything. So um, to, I'm just happy to be playing every week and so far that I have and just look forward to improving and um, yeah, hopefully getting that team's first premiership. And you're proud of that part of your game and you're set market? Oh, yeah, it's something I'll work on 
pretty closely down here and with my coaches and other players. So if we keep improving that and also my weaknesses, just become a good all-round player, not just worry about my intercept. Who are you closest to at the club? Is it Coxie, one of your good mates? Yeah, he's my housemate. Yeah, we've been living with each other for a long time. And yeah, so it's just us two in the house at the moment, so it's really good. I expect him to re-sign soon as well. Yeah, I hope so. He's, <laughs> yeah, if I, I thought that was part of the deal, if I sign, he signs. So, no, yeah, he's, we're a close mates. We live together and um, yeah, I'm sure something will come his way soon. You mentioned your strengths, obviously, there's been parts of your career yeah, there's been a bit of discussion about all Australian possibility. Obviously, injuries sort of cut that off. Is, it, is there an area that you've identified as something you'd like to work on this year and grow? Oh, there's a lot of areas, not just one thing. Um, yeah, it's in our in our skilled plan and all that sort of stuff, and I'll work on every weakness I got and um, just just come good at everything. So, it's yeah, everyone's got their weaknesses, but you just got to keep working on it and um, hopefully improving. Are you were a trader originally, weren't you? Is that, is that you? Yeah, I was a carpenter, yeah. Yeah. So the boys back home, what did they say? What did they say to you now? The boys you yeah. grew up with and stuff. Yeah, probably didn't expect it. They would think I'd be saying playing at Maribyrong Park still, but um, working the Saturday and coming the rock up play footy in my work here. But yeah, that's it's a bit different now. You know, the other ones working on here, living the life in Fremantle.